Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. Yeah. And it was this person right here. Let me just check the the great book of names for his actual name, because otherwise this is gonna be embarrassing if I get it wrong. Silent Exassin was the, the, the last person who joined our hallowed ranks. We got Perry Cartwell Jr., Sammy K, and Pixie Witch were the last three. And I didn't actually put this one in, who joined in the middle of our stream that we did a little while ago. When we. Why did me pressing spacebar break that? That shouldn't happen. What's well, not happened there? Okay, that's weird. Silent X. Silent X assassin. That's that's the person who joined us in the last stream. It was a long time ago, admittedly, and I, so I do apologise for not um, putting that one on here. But we we did need to add that one into the list. We got all of these. Golem ninety eight. Snow fox. Hello. O H E eighty four. Uh, who we got? We got Connor over here. We've got Tikyan Miroslav. Uh, oh yeah, we were trying to decide what to do with the bases of these, and we hadn't really sort of made any full decisions on it. We still haven't made full. We were actually thinking about warp wood, doing blue warp wood in here. So we might come up and do a little bit of that. Just just change those around, and. We had our chicken farm. Now, I, I, I got rid of the chicken farm. I uh, Well, I didn't get rid of the whole thing. I killed all the chickens. So that one is currently disabled. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a new chicken farm. I also want to build a cattle farm, which I'm not going to build here, as well as a sheep farm. So cattle and sheep we could do together. And we could use that to provide... Well, it will provide some blocks of plain wool... Uh, which is kind of a byproduct as far as I'm concerned. It's the leather and the meat that we want. I do want a steady supply of pork chops, uh, mutton, and also steak from cattle. So we'll build something. It's not going to be in spawn chunks. We're going to have this out, and it'll be another one that we basically AFK overnight for a night just to have it work, and then we come back, uh, and that will give us a, a decent supply of food for a little while. Uh, chickens, we're going to do something very similar, but not like I had over there. I've got a much grander idea for chickens that is going to involve a large area and probably a lot of lag. So that will be nowhere near here. It'll be nowhere near anything else at all. We'll just build this massive great big chicken farm. And I'm going to aim for a good few hundred chickens on the chicken farm. So there's another little project that I want to do and um, work on. And yeah, so i got all sorts of stuff. Uh, there is one thing that I do want to do a minute. Which I haven't done yet. And I'm not even sure where the materials are. And we've got two pyramids that we want to build. We've, well, there's three. There's three pyramids that we want to build. And two of them we've started, although we haven't done a great deal to one of them. There, I've got 17 Crying Obsidian right there. And I've also got some um, Crying Obsidian in our other base, which I'm going to leave that there because we'll use it for making our, um, our sorter. We'll want a crying obsidian section in our sorter over there. And I'm just thinking it's night time. There's probably going to be all sorts of nasty creatures. So let's go and get a little bit of sleep first. Before we go back over there and do too much more. At the moment, we have been getting a load of emeralds from doing trading back over at the cactus farm. But we've been using all of those emeralds we've been getting in order to trade up. Uh, to get more villagers that can do the necessary trading that we want to do. Plus, we've also been using the um, emeralds to get loads and loads of books as well, so that we can start building up a whole load of 
um, a whole load more pickaxes, shovels, axes, and so on. When we have essentially got a reserve of at six between six and ten pickaxes each, same with shovels and probably three or four diamond axes each. Uh, also a couple of spare sets of uh, armor so that if something bad does happen, uh, we can just go and pop on the spare set of armor instead of having to spend ages trying to put it all together because uh, like Sen's accident that she had a little while ago where she lost all of her stuff. It should be better now with a netherite though. It shouldn't actually now burn up because it just floats in the lava. So we just use, lose the elytras, um, which we also don't want to do. But uh, there we go. Uh, but anyway, we've got all kinds of plans of things that we want to do. And there is a little bit of our crying obsidian pyramid. And with my texture pack, Compliance 64 texture pack, I absolutely love the texture for this. The other thing that we want to do is start the brick pyramid. So I'm going to have to count again very carefully because my counting has been off somewhat of late. All the way over there to make sure that we have got exactly the right spot to go and start the brick pyramid. And we're going to want to start that one as well. So we've got all kinds of work that we need to do. Apparently it is raining. If we look right up there you can see it is absolutely hoofing it down coming into the base. We could put glass over the roof up there, and that would actually stop the rain from coming down in here, but we don't want to worry about that. We have an item sorter, a whole wing, and then there's another wing over there with actually item frames all the way down the, the, the sides. And then there's another wing, and, and, and then, then there's another wing, although we haven't got the item frames up on that one. Uh, so, yeah, we, well, or, all of that one either, but we're, 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 we're making some good progress with this. We've got the item sorter. All the way round, four wings, 800 slices of item sort of goodness. What are you doing at the moment, Sen? Um, well, I've just um, I put a shulker box here with some composters and oh, ideal. some glow ink sacks. I've Ooh, got... glow ink sacks. Yeah. What have we got? Ooh. Nice. Took a while. Uh, we've started also sorting some of the sorter, so we've decided that this is going to be the colourful wing, where anything that can be dyed, so we've got glass, we've got panes of glass, we've got wool, and we've got carpets. There's also going to be terracotta and glazed terracotta. We've got the base dye colours down through there. Up above them is going to be concrete, although we're not actually going to put concrete powder in here, just concrete. And then further on down, we're going to have one line for candles, and we're going to fill up most of the rest of it with all the different flowers that you can use for making dye, um, and possibly one or two other bits as well. So uh, we'll probably have the, the cactus plants can go down here as well. Um, but yeah, this is what we've done so far. So I'm just going to actually, first of all, let me just take a hop, skip and a jump up here. And you can have a little look. So we've got the light grey in there. And we've got these stickies in here. And what we've done is we've gone round. I only did a little bit of it, actually. Sen has gone round the majority of it and put four stickies in every single one. So that it is ready for just about everything else. Uh, there's not a lot else to say about it. We've already shown how it works with the log going and taking the signal through to the observer and so on. Um... We've just got to start loading the whole thing up, and quite frankly, it's going to take a while. We did do some recording yesterday, but we actually lost the entire recording. Um, we? Because I didn't set the audio recording properly. Um, so, yeah. But we were just kind of messing around with this, uh, making dye, making glass, and, and sort of just sorting some of this out. So It was a bit um, boring. Yeah, well, the, the, we wouldn't have had very much in the way of actual episodes from it. But one thing that we do know is that hoppers, when exposed to the open air, have a entity search bit that they do. They're searching for entities around the top, and this is what causes lag with hoppers. If you've got a chest above it, it doesn't cause lag. Or if you've got, say, a, um, a furnace above it that doesn't cause lag, or a composter, it doesn't cause lag. So we've got two... Lots of hoppers there. 
And then we're going to put more hoppers over the top to take the item through. So there's going to be another line of hoppers top and bottom on these bits right here. Uh, there is some more hoppers down underneath here, but we can't really go and reach these, unfortunately, unless we go and take everything apart. So we're not going to bother doing anything about that line on the bottom. But what we do have here that we can cover up is a double line there and then one up there. Now, uh, oh, two over here. We've got 800 items, but it's four... Uh, each slice here is for two items. Um, each slice... I said 800 slices before, didn't I? We've done 400 slices. It's 50 on each, so it's 100 and... Yeah, all the way around. Never mind that. Uh, we got one, two, three, four on each of these. And there are eight of these uh, sections. So we got four times eight that we need to put out. What's four times eight, Sen? Huh? What's four times eight? Hang on, I'm trying to concentrate. I'm making <laughs> composters, but right. I'm trying not to overfill my bags. Okay, uh, 32. So we've got 320 composters that we've got to put down. Oh, how many? 320. Oh, whoops. Um, well, it's not all together, not all together. Uh, 320 is four times, actually, why did I say four times eight? It's not four times, yeah, it, uh, not. What are you talking about? Four times eight. Uh, four times 800 is 3,200. 3,200 composters is what we're going to need. Oh, okay. Uh, plus we're also going to need them to go out the top because what we're also going to do is we're going to have the lines of hoppers are going to come round. It's going to come out to one block beside. It's going to go into the wall over here. It's going to come over this way. And it's going to come out of the wall. And it's going to head off down this way. And it's going to go all the way down. We're not just going to do a shortcut across here. Because we're actually going to extend this wall out. And this is all going to be sealed in. So you just have a corridor that will run all the way down. We'll do a door down there. Uh, so we want these hoppers hidden as well. Which means that they'll come out through the wall over here. And then they will travel through this bit. This uh, enclosed area up here. And then back out again. Uh, the hoppers down here are going to do the same, but it means that they will run through the roof area of where we've got this beacon. Uh, but that's not going to be a terrible bad thing. It'll be fine. They'll still be out of the way and we won't really see them because we're not really going to... The only reason to go in the beacon room is if we want to change the actual beacons, and that's highly unlikely. So we've that's going to be going all the way around, and we're going to need hoppers on all of the outside, uh, sorry, composters on top of the hoppers that go around all the extra joined up links as well. So there's going to be another good two or three hundred of them on there as well, uh, which means that we're going to be looking at three and a half thousand hopper, uh, composters minimum. How many stacks is that? Three and a half thousand. Uh, well, if we, if we assume three thousand five hundred, actually, I think it's going to be more than that. So let's go 3,600 divided by 64 equal... Oh, that was times 64. We don't want to do that. That was 230,000. 3,000 uh, divided by 64 is 56.25, which is actually two full shulker boxes and a little tiny bit besides. So if we do two full shulker boxes, that'd be about right. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm just looking for one of these in particular. It's this one. When I counted up the rooms, I actually made a slight mistake, and I did the rooms at 61, because I counted, I did 0 to 10, basically, and instead of starting at 1, I started at 0, so it ended up being 11 instead of 10. Um, you, you, you know, the, 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 it, anybody that can count knows the mistake I made. I started counting on 0 instead of moving forward onto 1. Uh, but I didn't do it on this one wing. So this one wing is actually one block shorter. This is the only one that came out correct. All the others are wrong. And because this is the only one that's correct, the wall is one block further forward, which means that this beacon is one block further forward. And if we go on up here into the sky, if you're really looking and you're really being careful to notice, those three lights there are one block closer to the center than the other three lots, which... Unless you actually physically get down here and count, you wouldn't see it. But 
Now that I know it's there, I really want to move the pyramid back and this whole wall back by one block. Uh, not so badly that I'm going to do it any time sooner. Um, Good. Right. I so, think I'd be roped in to help. You might. I, I might give you that valuable opportunity. So anyway, uh, I've got orange stained glass. I've got various other stained glasses in here. I've started putting some of the glass in. I've done the wool, and I've actually gone and loaded up the item sorters all the way round with just the wool. So I thought I would just do a little bit more of this one uh, to sort of finish up the glass. So I've done that one. This one here I haven't done. So we need to go up round. And we've got these in a very specific order. We've we sort of figured out what would be the best order for the colours, what we felt would look the best. Um, so it's always going to be white, light grey, grey, black, light blue, cyan, dark blue, green, lime, yellow, orange, red, pink, magenta, purple, brown. That's what we're planning to do all the way through. So all of the colours are always the same. So I've written those colours down on a post-it note, which basically means that when I'm up round the back trying to put stuff in, I know what order it's got to go in. I don't have to keep going back and checking and going back and checking and going back and yeah, and then, and then checking again. You see a pattern developing here, don't you? So we want to go up here. That's the blue one, the green one. And so after green, we have lime. So I just dump in the 64 in there for the lime. Then next is yellow, that one. And then in here, we go orange, and in here, we go with the red. So then I'm going to go up onto the next layer, and I'm going to... There's Enderman over there. Don't like uninvited guests. I did see a pig man wandering around, but I don't really mind about them. It's the, it's the Enderman that I don't like, because they keep leaving blocks everywhere. It's very untidy. Let's take a mosey on uh, this way. I really love the jump boost, being able to jump two blocks at a time. It does make life a lot easier. Uh, no, no. Uh, there. So this one is going to be the lime. That one there would be yellow, and then orange, and then red going into there. So we've got those few. And if we come back down here, we can just check... I'm not taking anything for granted. I am checking that I've got each of the correct items in the chest, which is why I'm doing it with a full stack of every item. So I just need to make these bits of glass here. We've already gone and done the concrete powder as well. Uh, what are you doing at the moment, Sen? Um, growing trees. Growing trees. Actually, I wanted to come and help you do some of that. So uh, I'll come and do a bit of that, and we'll have a look at the glass in a minute. There's something else that I also wanted to show you which is my concrete powder over here, which I think looks absolutely awesome. Now, as far as I know, it doesn't. Concrete powder doesn't turn to concrete with just rain. You've actually got to put water on it. So we're going to do... Why aren't I flying? That didn't work. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh, I am flying with just a massive lag spike. Yeah, I chopped the trees. Oh, that would be why. Right. Trying to fly over here. Okay, so we're doing a little bit of tree work. And something that we've been talking about is what is going to happen when 1.18 comes out. We're not sure at the moment what it's going to do. Uh, do you mind if I put the trees out and just do this, uh, do one line? No. Where is... Yeah, there's 57. Right, I want one stack. So we have a stack of these, and I'll take some bone meal as well. Let's take some bones and turn those into bone meal also. So we take a stack of 64 trees. Uh, something that we've been talking about is what we're going to do when 1.18 comes out. And something we're a bit concerned about is that the update is going to change everything big time. And when I say change everything, I mean utterly destroy everything we've done because of the whole new terrain generation features that they're adding in. So it does mean, and uh, to grow these, we've actually got to start down this end. If you try and grow them from that side, it doesn't work. So we come down here and we start growing here like this. Occasionally you get one of these with all the leaves sticking out like that. 
See, it covers it. The whole thing's covered in leaves, but we don't mind about that. And you just keep going through like this. I mind. It's a pain. Uh, it's not so bad. It means that we definitely get enough saplings coming back. Um, but the the terrain generation thing means that it could break a lot of what we've done, if not everything that we've done. And so for that reason, we're being a little bit cautious with some of the builds that we do. And that is what happens after you've grown a line of 64 saplings. So now we cut it down. So you cut once and then you just wait for a minute. Let it all update itself until it's gone and thrown everything out like that. And then you go and cut again. And it will go and cut the next line. And then you go and cut once more. And it will take everything else out. It has left a few leaves up there this time. Uh, but then we can run around and we can pick everything up. So I'm going to... It's super to... exciting. It is. It's a lot faster, admittedly, than any other way that we've previously used which i mean for us at the moment is just normal cutting down of trees break that one i'm gonna break that one um of course the usual practice is to go and build a tree farm where you afk at the tree farm and you do it like that and yes i'll admit that this can be a little bit cheaty doing it this way but surely it's not much different to a tree farm well a tree farm at least you do have to go to all the effort of building the thing in the first place and you've also got to take the time yeah, to but this you can't build. afk at no you can't afk at this and you do have to constantly repair your axe and everything Whereas the tree farm, you, you don't generally do that. So we've got a load of logs. We've got some saplings. We've got some sticks. I'll just go and pick up the rest of it. So each time we do this, we use one full stack of saplings. And then we get a massive great big pile of logs. We only do this with the spruce ones like this. Because you get the most timber back for the amount of effort that you put in. It's a, they're, they're really, really good trees for doing this. So for anything like building chests, composters, anything that doesn't require a specific type of wood, this is an absolutely perfect setup. It's wonderful. So there's that bit. Uh, you're making composters, aren't you, Sen? Yeah. So if I was to just pick up this lot of spruce logs, we could just do a quick crafting run on these. So uh, first of all, I want to do the planks. So if I go into my mod here, we select the spruce planks like that and then i go Control alt and c that will make every single one of those into planks like this then i need to go and turn all of those planks into half slabs so we select that one like that and then i go here and i don't have a recipe yet for half slabs so i have to set a new one i do that and now i do Control alt and c again and it crafts everything and then chucks it all out onto the ground. Right. I've now crafted everything and chucked it onto the ground. For some reason, it did go and make a button as well. Sometimes the mod gets a little bit buggy and it will do things like craft the odd random button, which is frustrating. Next. You uh, crafted a button. It did. It, my mod crafted a button for me for some oh, right. strange reason. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, so next up, I actually want to make a composter. So that's uh, just six, of the uh, seven slabs all round. It doesn't matter what color of timber you use; they all come out the same. So again, I want to select a new recipe on there because I don't have composters yet. And then we can just do it like that. And now I go Control C because I don't need to throw them away. We just do it like that. Okay, we do want to chuck them on the ground. It's because there's so many on the ground as well. It's sort of being weird. It did also make us a spruce pressure plate. Again, weird. So there so are you're some... wasting my wood. Well, there are some strange happenings with this mod from time to time. It, it does do peculiar things every now and then. I've still got some items up there, but we have at least got a load of composters here. So I'll just dump those in there. Sen will probably want to do something else with them other than leave them in there. And oop, I'm going to go in here. And then we'll just make the rest of those like that. So I can make 
One more little lot of slabs, one more of those, and yeah, I've got a spruce pressure plate and a spruce button, which is not going to do us much good. So we'll take the, actually, if we take the composters out of here, we can put those in and those in, and then we can put the composters over here ready for sen. And you can see, once you get going with making the timber, you can actually make things fairly quickly with this. Uh, these two can be burned somewhere quite sure where oh, right I'll put them in the house just have you got them oh, uh, no I've, I've taken them away we'll put them in the item sorter because uh we'll want them over there anyway for so i mean yeah we admittedly we'll want a whole stack of each but it's a start let's sail back in here over this way Right, so the concrete powder up the top, we're going to go and sort that out at some point. We're just not going to do it quite yet. So let me just get rid of that. What I'm working on at the moment, and I also want to get rid of... Oh, that's all wool and stuff. I want to get rid of those as well. So I've got a bit of space. So what I've been working on over here, we've done those stained glass there. We've got the magenta, the purple, the brown, and the pink still to do. So those are the ones that are left. Now, magenta stained glass, obviously, we've already got plenty of that. So I'm just going to take out these here. So we've got a bit and then a half a stack. And the others, I'm not going to take them out of there. I'll just leave them there. So I want to make pink and purple and brown. Now, those are actually fairly easy. I've got a... There's the chest with the dye in it. So I want to take 12 brown dye. I've done this before, a time or two. We want to take 12 purple dye, uh, like that. And we also want 12 pink dye, like that. So then we go into the table. We go magenta. No, I don't want magenta stained glass. Yes, I do. But I don't want 16 of them. I just want uh, one, two lots. Is it two? What am I looking at here? No. And another lot. Right, and one more lot. Yeah, that's what we... Well, a, a stack and then a little bit, but we could just do it with a stack. So I want all the pink glass that I can do. So I've got eight. We, we uh, change all of that. And then all of the purple, so we get 12 lots of that. And all of the pink, and we get a few loads of that. Then we've got the stained glass over here. So if I go to the purple stained glass and I just do four lots... I'll just grab it like this. Purple. I make four lot of those. Uh, we need the brown one. That one. One, two, three, four, like that. So we've got pink, purple, brown, and magenta. We've also got magenta normal glass right here, and pink and, and the others. So I've got a few extras. I don't want to worry about those at the moment. I'm just going to dump them back into this chest. So I'll get rid of those extra little bits like that. So I've just got four of these and I've got four of these. And then I can climb back up onto here. We run along and we find the next slot. So the last one we put in was the red one. So we want to go here. The next on the list. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.